NASCAR is using something this weekend that is very interesting potentially for the future. For Sunday night's race at Richmond, NASCAR will be using a torque sensor on the number 19 car of Martin Truex Jr. And you're probably wondering, why are they using a torque sensor? So, a little background on torque sensors. They're currently used in IMSA in the GTP category to measure the output of the engine across the various different types of engine platforms that they have in GTP. Whether that be the twin turbo V8s, the twin turbo V6s, the naturally aspirated V8s, there's obviously different engine formulas and they all need to be in that same parameter box. So, IMSA uses these real-time torque sensors to measure the amount of output that the engine is putting out of the car. Now, NASCAR is running this. They're trialing it on the 19 car for the first time. And NASCAR, to their credit, and what Bob Pockers reported, said that they are doing this to measure the current engine platform. They're not doing this to potentially set up for a new manufacturer coming in and a potential different engine formula. And you're probably thinking, like, what's this different engine formula? What could it possibly be? NASCAR says that we're going to take them at their word for it. All right, let's just go ahead and we're going to be like, you know, NASCAR, like our government, never lies to us. So we're going to take them at their word. But, but if they are kind of telling a bit of a white lie right here and they are using it for something else, what would that be for? Well, they could be using it to measure the amount of power output coming out of the 19 car to then have a baseline for what a naturally aspirated V8 cup car currently produces. And they could be using that to give a new manufacturer, a new OEM, Honda, whoever, the parameters of being like, you can build an engine that produces this amount of power. Meaning if Honda wanted to come in with a twin turbo V6, you have to be in this parameter. That's the amount of torque, amount of power, everything that you can put out from the car. NASCAR could also be using this to just measure where the current engine platform is for the cup cars. We could eventually see this on both a Ford and a Chevy. Wouldn't be shocked to see that happen in the very near future. So NASCAR kind of has an idea where all three current OEMs are at. But Tinfoil Hat over here says that they're doing this not just because they want to kind of see where everybody's at, right? We already know that typically... At certain tracks, some cars are better than others, and whether that be the Toyotas have really good torque at the short tracks to get off the corner better, whether that be the Fords at the super speedway seem to always be super strong, and the Chevy seems to be pretty good at the mile and a half, it's kind of a mixed bag of results here, and maybe NASCAR is just measuring the current TRD motor to see where it's at. Ziva has a performance advantage. But these torque sensors can be monitored in real time. That's what happens in IMSA right now. They're also looking to implement that into their GTD category. So for NASCAR using it, it is kind of, uh, it, it was coming, right? And this isn't a bad thing. I know people are going to look at this and be like, oh, they're just going to take away more power. I don't think that's what they're aiming to do here. I think what their ultimate goal for this is to be like, all right, this is the box that we're working in here, and this isn't a bad thing. Bozy. Tadaravich, I, I'm trying to get that name down. I apologize to him if I butchered it again. Did a great Twitter thread about this. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Just go to his Twitter account. You can read all of it through here. I don't want to you know, repeat it verbatim. That's an injustice to him because he put a lot of time into putting this out right here. But if you want to learn about the technical side of the sport or sports car racing, um, that's the guy to follow because he's going to always have the pictures up here like I showed of the torque sensor as well. But for NASCAR, I think this makes sense. And I know there's going to be people that are like, you're a NASCAR homer, you're on the payroll. I'm not, I'm just not. But if you're going to have a new OEM come in, naturally aspirated V8s aren't exactly what people are building anymore. Certainly not what Honda's building, certainly not what any of the other manufacturers that could possibly hop into NASCAR are building. And I know there's going to be a lot of old timers, myself included. I love the sound of a V8 storming around the track. It's an addicting sound. It's like they put cigarettes in it. You can't quit it. But instead, they're just going to go off and be like, like, all right, you can do this, naturally aspirated V8s. You can do a turbo V6, whatever. I don't know if twin turbo is going to be the route. I don't know if single turbo. I don't even know if V6 is the route they want to take. Maybe they want to go inline. Maybe they want to go four cylinder. That'd be stupid. I wouldn't love it. But, you know, throwing options out there. More manufacturers in the sport is not a bad thing. I just think that, and I think we all know, that the days of the V8 are numbered, unfortunately. They'll still exist. And I think there's still manufacturers that will produce them. Chevy just reinvested a lot of money on the actual road going side of the business into their new V8 platform. They're not going anywhere anytime soon, but I think NASCAR is keeping their options open and they're like, hey, if we want more manufacturers to come in, we're going to have to be able to allow them to come in with an engine formula that works for them on their business side. 
I already said in another video uh, a couple weeks back that Ford would probably love to have their EcoBoost engines in these cup cars because that would be a huge marketing platform for them. They'd love to have a driver get out in victory lane like Ryan Blaney when he wins the championship last year, get out and be like, man, this Ford EcoBoost engine right here carry me to the, you know, the championship or whatever, you know, stupid PR corporate speak afterwards. They would love that. They would absolutely love that. And instead, they had to go out there and be like, oh, yeah, the Ford Power, even though they can't like necessarily say what that Ford Power is because it's not branded in any sort of way. It's kind of like, well, Chevy and Toyota all do it. Toyota can't be like, hey, go out and buy this V8 and a Camry because they can't. There's no even naturally aspirated Camrys sold anymore that aren't. No, obviously, all the only Camry that you can buy these days is a hybrid version. So NASCAR's keeping their options open. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all i think that's exactly what they need to do and having this torque sensor on the car is a step in the right direction to just at least collect data again nascar says that they're just doing it to gather data on engine development and engine cost eh, that could be true i'm actually i actually do believe that they they do believe that it is for engine development and engine cost because they want to have an idea on what's going on at the same time I definitely think that data is being gathered so they can be like, look, this is the parameter that you, Honda, whoever, can work in and sort of the, the ballpark for you to come up with an engine formula that you think would work here. Naturally aspirated V8s versus hybrid or not hybrid. No, not yet. Not hybrids yet. Naturally aspirated V8s versus twin turbo turbo V6s would certainly be a really interesting battle, especially when we get to some of the higher speed tracks. So I'm actually kind of interested in that. Everybody wants a tire war. Why don't we have an engine war uh, from time to time? Could be pretty entertaining and could bring back some, you know, um, engine retirements, you know, it, blown engines. I went with a Formula One IndyCar term right there. But yes, blown engines, part failures, things like that. Things that we don't typically see anymore. Although the Xfinity race at Richmond, I believe we saw two blown engines, which is kind of a, a rarity these days. So. Let me know in the comments what you think about the torque sensor and what you think NASCAR is actually going to do with it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.